Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. So I'm going to be playing Minecraft Zombie Apocalypse, um, and I'm going to be doing the, uh, the bridge. So this is the last, uh, level, or last, I guess, episode of the mini-series I've been doing on Zombie Apocalypse. We've already done the mall and the cinema. I played a little bit of this, the bridge level. It seems really interesting. It seems like there are a lot of helpful uh, items around. Um, there's one part where if you go too far, you get like dead ended, which is what wound up killing me in my last game. Um, but I mean, it seems pretty cool. And there seems like a, there's a lot of choke points you can use, which is really nice. So you can use this yellow car to jump up and down. If you get trapped, um, just watch out because the zombies can do that too. Um, that's kind of a little bit nervy because I like to know where everything in my surrounding area is. And if they can jump it, that's something that uh, just creates a little bit more hassle. But you can stand on the car like this and just knock them back and that actually is kind of nice just don't overdo it like I did because then they can uh, surround you potentially So this is kind of bad. I shouldn't have died on the second wave, <laughs> um, but hopefully we'll get get past it this time. And I don't particularly like using bombs at that part, or this early in the game, but I kind of just want to get through this little area as quickly as possible. So one strategy that I have not been doing is you can leave one zombie alive and just kind of like, just leave them alive. And then you can explore the level a little bit faster. Um, I have not been doing that just because, for the sake of time, I want to explore as much as I can, find out as much as I can about the level. And one thing that uh, one thing that this game does is when you explore more areas, you find more spawners for the zombies. Like so, at the beginning there's only one spawn location. Now there's like five or six or something like that. So the further we go, the further, like, the more spawn points there will be. So just keep that in mind as well. Like, you don't want to go too far too fast at, like, with no protection or no shields or whatever. Because that can, um, that can mess you up later in, like, the end game. But, um, right now, like I said, I'm just trying to kind of, I just want to speed through this a little bit. And 
like you can use the cars and stuff as choke points like I've been doing. Um, and that's helpful. So I'm going to try to save the eggs for as late as I can. I want to use them uh, on the baby zombies, which are going to come up next round. But I might wind up using them kind of soon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just going to use them. All right, so we're on to our fourth wave now. Baseball bat. So those are the baby zombies. They kill you in like two hits. I think they do like three hearts or something like that. Alright, uh, so I'm on my last life. It's not smart. There's just one enemy right there, but the baby ones are kind of the most dangerous at this point right now. Alright, so I wound up dying. Um, I can say that from playing all three of the zombie apocalypse levels, I probably like the bridge the most. It uh, it has a lot of places where you can hide. It has a lot of places where you can um, kind of like avoid zombies and kind of like get a second to breathe. And uh, I just think it's probably my favorite of the three levels: the bridge, cinnamon mall. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you liked the video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you.